What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here, and in this video, we're going to go over how to make the new Blue Vivo XL4 faster. So without further ado, let's get started. So you're going to start by pulling down the shade here. You're going to go to the settings. You're going to go down to about device. You're going to go over to build number, and you're going to tap on that a bunch of times until it says you are now a developer. Now that you've done that, developer mode has been activated, so you want to go back. And then on this screen, you'll see more settings. You're going to tap on that. You're going to go down to the bottom, and it's going to say developer options. Then you're going to tap on developer options, and you're going to see a bunch of different options here. But you'll want to go down until you see some settings about the animations. And you can see right here, we have three different animation scales. So we have window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. Now by default, they're all set at 1x, but you have the option here to change the animation speed, so you can make it slower if you want to, all the way up to 10x, or you can make it faster, so you can do animation speeds at 0.5x or off. Now let's put them at 0.5x just to show you what that does. So you'll see right away that all of the animations on this device are now a lot quicker. So there's just less of a delay when starting up different applications and it makes the device faster. So if you don't like animations or you don't care about animations, then you're going to find this to be an improvement because it makes the device faster. Now we're going to go back to the settings here and look at the other animation speed settings. So we're going to go back to developer options. We're going to scroll down again to the animations. And you can see we also have the option of turning the animations completely off. So we're going to turn these animations off right now. And we'll see what that does. And as you might have assumed, it completely turns off the animations. And it just makes everything super quick. You can see previously to access the app drawer, there was a little bit of a delay because it would have to bring up the animations and everything. But now, when you swipe, it just brings up the app drawer right away. Same thing goes with pretty much any other app here. It's just instant, and you don't have to wait at all. So, if that's something that you see as an improvement, then there you go. You can do that. The best thing, too, about this is that it's completely reversible. You can always go back to the default. And if you don't even want developer options to be available on your phone, then you can always do a factory reset and it'll bring the phone completely back to how it was when you started. Now for me personally, I do like the animations a little bit, so I'm going to be leaving them at animation 0.5x. I think that's kind of a sweet spot because it makes the device faster, but at the same time, you do still get some animations. Now let's go to animation scale at 10x just to show you what that does. And you can already see, just with the first option there, it is slowing things down immensely. And we'll do the last option here. And we'll put that on 10x. And you can see just how slow it makes everything in the Blue Vivo XL4. You can see just pulling up the app drawer is just ridiculously slow. I don't really know in what situation somebody would want it to be this slow. As for me personally, I wouldn't want that. But you can see... It makes all the animations super slow, and starting up games is slow, everything is slow. But that just shows you what happens when you set the animation speeds at the slowest level. Like I said, I'm going to put them on 0.5x for me personally, but you'll have to decide which mode or which speed you like personally for you. And I'm interested to know in the comments if you're going to be doing this, let me know. So that is how to make the new Blue Vivo XL4 faster. If you liked the video, then hit that like button, leave any comments if you have any questions, or if you have anything to say at all, and subscribe to my channel. But I'll see you in the next video, and have a great day. Bye.